Hey, Viola Rules here, and welcome back to Bravely Second End Lair. So I'm over by the uh, Needleworks shop, and there's a monolith over here. So let's see which one this is. Equipment? Check. Hearts of Courage? Check. Now, Mesami, let's do this. The, the monument. There it is. Wait. Good grief, is that... Asmodeus, the manifestation of lust. Lust. Okay, this one has charm. I should have put lockets on everyone. I didn't know what Look it was, sharp, though. Everyone. Holy. And I only know that because of the cinematic from when we picked up the uh, yokai class. Um, so let's go ahead and examine you. Everybody else default. Actually, this looks like the summon she used when she KO'd everyone. Okay, well, hopefully, it keeps doing harmless stuff like that. Weak to water and to tornado. Okay. Um, so let's see. Inflict. Gluttony on all allies. Uh, sure. Let's do that. As for you, let's have you just cast Frost and to have water amplification on you because of the, um, the chest armor or the cloak that you're wearing right now. And let's have you use Tornado. And let's have you use Frost. The reason why I'm casting Gluttony on our whole party is so that if we get damaged, we, um, heal. Why they crouched? Oh, what? Wait, what? Ah, I, I see. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, let's have you use the phoenix down on Magnolia. Let's have you use the next potion on Tiz, and Tiz will use the next potion on Idia. Call of the Infernal. You were imprisoned in the Infernal Realm. Oh. Okay, I was less prepared for this than I thought. Okay, so let's just spam, um, spam Arctic Winds. Uh, Use Arctic Wind. Let's have you use Arctic Wind as well. I may have to redo this fight. Venomous Sting on now. Going ahead and give an antidote, antidote to Tiz. Um, let's have you continue to use Arctic Wind and use Arctic Wind again. Oh, apparently you also got blinded from that too. Release. Oh, oh, you released them back. Oh, thank God. I thought it was like the Man Eater uh, enemy where they were just out of the fight permanently. I'm glad that's not the case. Uh, go ahead and give an X potion to Magnolia. Use Arctic Wind. And let's have you also give an X potion to Magnolia. Or oh, to yourself, because Magnolia's back in the fight. Not used to it.
called the Infernal, taking on you this time. Okay. Actually, um, I'm gonna have Tiz also use next potion, um, Magnolia. Just get your health up. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, well, the good thing is that you hit Tiz, so that knocked him out of charm. Um, use Gluttony on all allies, and then let's have you um, actually, instead of having you do that, I'm gonna have you Go ahead and use Acid Breath. Okay, apparently apparently that'll leave you a negative 2 BP. Why? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Um, you need eye drops. Frost. Please, Echo. Please? No. Okay, good. You gave back Tiz. Thank you. Going ahead and use Gluttony again. And um, let's have you just use Arctic Wind. Let's have you also use an arctic wind as well. Normally I don't like to use consumables, but they deal more damage than my normal frost attack and I want to get this over with. Gaja. So let's have everybody default for a while. And I regret doing that. Um, yeah, let's have you use that. Let's have you um, use Acid Breath. And then also Cast Frost. The Echo Ability only has a 25% chance of activating. I wish it was higher. But I understand why it's not. Okay. Good, you're back. Okay, let's just have you use Frost. Yeah, just keep casting Frost. Capitalize on the fact that he's weakened. Give you back, please. Okay. 
Okay, gluttony is no longer in effect. Um, so let's have you put that back on everyone. Everybody else use frost. Oh my god. He's frost. Okay, he's no longer weakened. Oh, wow. Oh! Okay, everybody still gets the rewards from it. Okay, good. Oh, and I got another elixir. We did it! Somehow. I've seen monsters in my day, but nothing like that. Yeah, that was crazy. As Medeus's power, the power of lust is ours. We've defeated two of the seven great sins, but five still remain. You obtain the scroll of lust. So now we can do full um, group cast lust on enemies now. That's for the boss. Amadeus. Apparently the space within his cape connects to another world. Yeah, the Infernal Realm. With his lust ability, there's a good chance he will leave the whole party charmed. You, you be careful. What? I'm more worried about his venomous sting. Not only does it, it not only does physical damage to a target, it can also leave that target asleep, paralyzed, blinded, silenced, confused, and even poisoned. He's also got Dundaja up his sleeve, which will deal lightning damage to the whole group, and goes straight through Magic Mirror. Call of the Infernal can pull one of us under that cape and into another world. So what happens when all of us are sucked into there? Well, we won't be writing any more notes in here, that's for sure. Oh, the horror. Just what kind of monster is that Amadeus? I'm afraid there's not much detail provided about him in the scriptures. He's a bit mentioned in the records of the old religion. He is a prince of some sort, ruling over the east. He leads 72 legions and ranks as 32nd in the hierarchy of demons. He seems delighted when others treat him with dignity and don't seem shocked by his uh, unworldly appearance. And he has been known to give out food and jewels, as well as teaching humans about geometry and, astro and astronomy secrets. I don't know how much I trust such sources, though. Now he just sounds like a creepy old man offering free sweets to children. Yep, and there's a summary of what I just read. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter, as well as support my Patreon and check out my reaction channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules, signing off. Talk to you later.